All right. Uh, we found out how to kill the uh, GR Cup. Take it to a new track. It's just not a fun track. Uh, sorry to any French viewers or anyone that likes this track, but um, I'm I'm just bad at it. But it's just it's really boring. I mean, the first sector of the whole track is it's kind of technical, but it's not. Um, it's just a really weird high speed section that you have to kind of lift off just right for this. Uh, only 60 people signed up. So that is very disappointing. Uh, that means that we're probably going to be back end of the top split. And uh, that's fine because we were slow anyway. So it'll at least reduce the amount of uh, damage that happens. But uh, let's see. And we're 11th. 4,500 at the top and 1,600 down here. So, do we know anyone? Uh, Joe. We know Joe. So, yeah. Um, just make it around the track. Get to the final turn. Close your eyes while the frames drop 10 and it makes it feel like your computer is dying. Um, because for some reason the final chicane, something in view, is not optimized at all. And it just kills. Like, it doesn't even kill the frames. Frames drop to 135. But the it stutters so bad. Then you have, if you hit a curb, one of the higher curbs... Traction control all of a sudden kicks in and pretty much just, like, locks your car up. So that's really annoying because I know how good this car can feel um, without traction control. And if you hit one of the big curbs, you're going to see blue and green on your uh, little side lights here. And it just locks the tires up. It's really annoying. So, um, yeah, looks like we're going to be probably at the back of the pack. I got 1,600 at the back. That's probably about my pace anyways. Just uh, struggling. Struggling quite a bit here, but we'll go out and qualify. Maybe it'll all come together. Very doubtful, though. Let's uh, head out on track and in some qualifying laps. Honestly, this just feels like a big go-kart track. Um, nothing... There's nothing really cool about this track. And, I mean, I'm sure in a fast car that it's a very fast flowing crazy track but in this thing I mean this straightaway is just as boring as Road America and then we go into hard break and don't hit the inside otherwise you'll get the bad traction control frames are deciding to die now for no reason even though they were fine all throughout practice there. That's good to see. But this is where it gets into karting track. And then just way too much rotation there. Yeah, frames are deciding to now suck. They were not having any issues here and now it's stuttering. That's cool. No issues in practice, but hey, I'm out on the track alone and qualifying and we're getting stuttering places that I never had before. But we haven't even seen the stuttering yet, because uh, 
Here it comes, even though we can see everything that we're about to uh, encounter. Right here. Let's let the stutters begin. And it's just terrible. So, big key here. Carry a ton of speed through this. Very easy to do. Don't hit the dirt. And then I can't attack. I know the fast guys are attacking there. Get the car to turn back. I was safe there and didn't let it go out wide. Um, that whole section is key to, obviously, a long straight and not being slow. Probably should have shifted. Um, but I don't think it's really going to matter what I do for lap time. 58s are going to be really quick. I'm hoping for a two minute. Gonna come into this straight. A little slow, but hopefully we get it turned, get a drive off, and carry that momentum up the hill. I assume this is uphill. A little lift off, I could attack this more, but I don't like going out too wide here, even though I still end up going out too wide there. Keep it wide enough not to hit that, but then we go and get a 1x, and there goes that lap. Don't know what happened in that section. Just got way off, and bad things happened. There we go, there's a big stutter. Lose 20 frames for no reason. Get on it. A little better exit than we had. And we shifted. I assume no matter what I run, it'll still be for back of the pack. So, not going to be a big deal if I throw this away. Little bounce there, never good. And we get a slowdown. Awesome. Not even a X. Can we clear the slowdown and still have our lap count? I don't know how that works. Might be able to. Bit of a lift off here and hope it clears. It's not clearing yet. Slow, clear it. We'll find out if it counts or not. As long as I don't hit the curb on the inside here and get the stupid traction control. That was not what I wanted to do. We run a 59. It doesn't count, and we're starting in the back. 59.9. That would have put us way up here. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> That's how you shoot yourself in the foot. Oh well, we made it to 5th at VIR, but this is a whole different split, so. 
Oh, that's annoying that it would have been that far up there. Very disappointed. Oh, well. Could have just uh, been smart and slow, but it's the fact that I have anything stupid on here. Uh, Self-shadowing off, because speed trees here. I It wasn't having any issues in practice with other cars on track, but get into qualifying, only car on track, and goes to crap. But can't blame that on me screwing up my lap, so. we starting last row. Could be starting sixth. Oh, that's that annoys me so much. Such a huge difference there. Good news is a lot of like the cars are gonna be going off track. So it's kind of a VIR situation where if they're wrecking, hopefully we won't see them. Gonna do a full lap One left here. Green. Line up on the left side. Closed. Pit road is closed. That did not sound right. My audio up. I don't want to get out though and miss the start. Though, does it matter? Let's double check this. All right. Don't miss the start. Good. Just barely. I don't know how we got back in. It was at zeros when we loaded in. And we've got a guy running into someone already. Catch the 15 car. Catch the 13 car. Catch the 19 car. Catch the 20 car. Catch the 7 car. Very worried about this 10 car. Bit too much screwing around and a B1.4. Although I'm about to be a B1.4. Start through the final chicane is going to be messy, but uh, could be all the way up in six. Catch up, seven car. I don't know what I should do if I just need to back out or um, feel like I need to be far away from the 10. Massive frame drops there as well. Don't know. Don't know what a, what we need to do to survive this, but today's not been a good day for surviving races. Half the races I've been wrecked out in now, so.
15 minute race, we're gonna get, what, seven, eight laps. So, we'll just have to hope enough mistakes happen. At least, uh, no one has plowed into anyone here, but we're gonna be going green very early here. Or at least it'll seem very early here. And, well, never mind. They have wrecked behind us. So, we didn't make it to the green before someone wrecked. Now we just gotta be... Go left. Jesus fuck. I will take the 1x. I will take that 1x and just survive. They're gonna end up being a parking lot down here. Slow car ahead. Car stopped ahead. Go left. We survive. Right side. On the rock. Got some damage on that car. Not sure if three's got damage or not. We just gotta back out. They're three wide into this. That's not gonna work out. There goes the ten car. Clear on the right. You got a slow car on the right. Car stopped on the right. Go left. Got Joe. Right. Clear. All right. Well. It's working like VIR. Just gonna back off. No need to push it through there, especially with the car right in front of me. The car in that is very uncontrolled at the moment. Make him overdrive this, I hope. Clear. You got a slow car on the left. We got slow cars again. We got someone going in the pits. And we are in 12th. I believe the 15 is about to die into the next right-hander. Traction control, killing the engine essentially there. You know what? Flash me all you want, buddy. You're blocking like a douche, so go 
in the back. Got Joe right behind us. We just need to clear this guy and get away from him. Unfortunately, I was terrible and took it way too easy through the first sector and allowed him to get back past us, but maybe he'll stop focusing on his mirror and actually drive. Nope, he's gonna be dog shit through there. Looks like we're only going to get 11th because we're just getting hung up on this guy that is very slow, but I can't pass him. He screwed that up, so we'll blast past him here. Let's get away from him. Let Joe deal with him. And a pack of cars up here that is going pretty slow, so... That is good news for us. Big push of the nose there. Now Joe's got to deal with him. And same thing, guys hitting the inside curve, getting crazy loose and just killing all momentum, but nowhere to go with it. Fifty-nine five. We're in 11th where we're supposed to finish. Can we close up two and a half seconds? Probably not. 10 still hasn't wrecked, so I've been wrong on that prediction.
not closing in. Feels like we are, but we're not. They're getting further away. Just in a slower section. I'm just trying not to overdrive it. And this is great. Thankfully enough gap there. That was his 10th. I mean, not terrible for my first day ever on this track. I've never seen it before. Not in any other game. Nothing. So... Being in the 59's at least optimal. Feel pretty good about. Boy, blew that. Yeah, they're just creeping away. I would have got ran over if I started six, so it's probably better. that I started from the back. Plus that was a hell of a lot more exciting for you to watch. Oh shit, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Just shift down. Despite the time loss, I'm just overdriving. Fuck me. Stupid traction control. That was just all around terrible. Giving the three a chance to catch up with us where he might not have had the time. And then the last thing I want to do is let the 15 get back near us. that how I was supposed to. Maybe a little light, but better than I had. outside rain line there. It's trying to do a wider and then turn off the corner straighter, but that did not work at all. There was nowhere for the three to go. He's going to have a massive draft down the straightaway, and I'm sure he's going to get through this section better than us anyways. Oh, we'll let him go. Nothing we can do here. Asking to get wrecked. Right side. Still there, hold your line. 
still there. Clear. trying to do what I did and uh, take a horrible rain line in the dry. Yes. 19 way off pace, but still chugging, so, well, he's lost it there. Maybe he's broken. But we're going to finish where we're supposed to, and we survived the mess of lap one. I just kept getting slower through the race, overdriving or just being terrible, I don't know, but... There we go! First time here, first time for most people here, but... Bring it back to the pit, how going? I'm not terribly mad about that, but just a lot of errors. Lots of mistakes that didn't need to happen. So, let's uh, take a look at what all happened out there, including the wreck under pacing, because that is what people do now. Is it? Yep, he gets hit by the dumbass traction control. 30 miles an hour, it kicks in traction control when the tire goes up in the air and just essentially kills the engine and locks the rears up. It's so dumb. And I don't know if anyone got penalized for that, but uh, yeah, it's very stupid. I have no idea what the 19 was doing there. And then this poor guy. Oh, he nearly found a jump to shortcut it like Mario Kart. Now this guy downshifts, turns in hard, and then loses it across the track and wipes out seven. I go, holy crap, I hit the brakes, I turn it hard, I nearly lose it. Luckily, pit road's out there, or pit exit, and we survive that. And then, well, as you would expect, Number six just drives in and wads him up. He continues to go and everyone else is hurt by it. So, kind of how it works. Seven cars going again and hits the curb and nearly flips it. Ten nearly kills us, but I kind of did change under the braking. 20, not having any better of a time. I am not sure he practiced. And then, yeah, this was when we were dealing with Mr. Blocky. I mean, it's strange that after all of this, he couldn't keep up with us, but we gave him room, then we got loose, and he ran into the back of us there, because nowhere for him to go. Just hard racing. That was a dumb pass. 20. Not having a good time.
and shoves the three off. He's going to have a slowdown. Maybe that's what backed everyone up to uh, that I thought we were catching them, and then all of a sudden we weren't catching them. Joe gets into the back of Blocky. And 16 into the wall. Nine going for a big dive on Joe. Joe tries to cross it under. Did not work. Oh, you do, Joe. It's coming to the finish line. He's got to slow down. He's got to clear before he gets to the line. Oh, that sucks. So did he get uh, put in last? Or he was already last after he let those people go. So, well, that was an interesting one. Uh, yeah, really wish I would have qualified six. But, I mean, I could not back up my lap at all. Um... I rating change. We gain three I rating. We lose .04 safety rating. So it's kind of like this never happened. Uh, we had nothing for yeah. This was this was never gonna happen. Fifty nine five was about the best I could do. Everyone really sucked in qualifying and got very good in the race. So we uh, we'll move on. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. That was, yeah, that was top split, so not quite the same top split as we get at the free tracks, but that was an experience. Um, track raced better than I thought it would, but I just, I was struggling too much, and the traction control on this sucks, and nearly got us there, so uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.